Don't worry if it's not done, because it's complicated. I, I can understand. I'm going to give you a little example. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. स्टेप समझ में आया जो मैंने भी किया हम्म लास्ट टाइम डिराइव करके दिखाया था ना दैट सिंस इट इज अ डॉट प्रोडक्ट एफ डॉट डी एल एंड एफ इज और एफ विल बी सम प्लीज डोंट कंफ्यूज यहाँ पे वाई आ रहा है वहाँ एक्स आ रहा है जो भी आई कैप का जो भी आई कैप का कोई पेशेंट है वो एक्स कंपोनेंट है जो भी जे कैप का कोई पेशेंट है वो वाई कंपोनेंट है अब एक्स कंपोनेंट में एक्स वाई जेड कुछ भी आ सकता है वाई कंपोनेंट में एक्स वाई जेड कुछ भी आ सकता है जेड कंपोनेंट में एक्स वाई जेड कुछ भी आ सकता है सो दिस इज एक्स कंपोनेंट of f y component of f ya aa raha hai samajh mein sabko so for the for the part 1 comma 1 2 comma 1 ah very good You get y is equal to one. Huh? Therefore, dy is equal to zero. Work done is equal to integral two x one dx plus zero. Right? That I have done. Y equal to one. Dy is zero. Two got left. X got left. Y equal to one got left. dx को छोड़ x square को छोड़ दिया dy को तो जीरो कर दिया आई x goes from one to two so this is equal to integral of two x dx from one to two x square by two into two Four minus one is equal to two. Okay. And for two comma one to two comma four, x is equal to two. Therefore, dx is equal to zero. Work done is equal to two into two into y into zero plus four into d y. इस केस में क्या किया? x equal to two and dx equal to zero है. ये two रखा, ये x रखा. ये टू रखा ये जीरो हो गया 
यहाँ पे x इज इक्वल टू टू रखा और ये डी वाई को जो है सो दिस इज नथिंग बट फोर डी फ्रॉम वन टू फोर दिस विल बी फोर इंटू फोर माइनस वन दट इज ट्वेल्व total work done is equal to 3 joules plus 12 joules chalo now do the second part please do it to do this yourself do this one yourself bilkul same tarike se karna absolutely the same ha na dekha चलो थर्ड पे चलो आगे वाला करो सबका एक और क्लियर किया जाना क्वेश्चन इनको समथिंग लाइक दिस is confirmed sonal ke tha ya kuch aur tha acha minus minus y tha kya Please do the second part. I will. If you if you can't do the third, don't worry. I will do it. No, J can't come. No, no. From the scalar quantity. अच्छा जून से था क्या नहीं नहीं दिखा रहा हूं करके पहले सेकंड पार्ट दिखाता हूं
क्या किया x equal to one है, b x equal to zero है, छोड़ दिया, equal to one, छोड़ दिया, equal to zero, equal to one, छोड़ दिया. Limits are going from one to four, so this will become four minus one. For part one comma four, two comma four, y is equal to four. Therefore, d y is equal to zero. Work done is equal to two x y dx plus x square d y. It will be equal to integral of eight x dx. हाँ वर्क नेगेटिव आ सकता है तो कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं क्या किया वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर डी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो लीव इट लीव इट वाई इज इक्वल टू फोर लीव इट लीव इट डी वाई इज इक्वल टू जीरो फोर इनटू टू एट हो गया यहाँ पे सो दिस विल नाउ बिकम एट Integral of x dx is x square by two from one. And this will cancel out with this four. Four into x square one to two. Four into four minus one. Twelve. So the total work done. From one comma one, one comma four is three plus twelve. Okay, now for the third part. So if I go from one comma one <coughs> to two comma four in a straight line, then what is the equation of this? <coughs> right, we figured this out in the last part. Y is equal to. Let's figure out the one now. Y is equal to m x plus c over one comma one to two comma four. So m, which is y two minus y one upon two minus x one. Four minus one upon two minus one, that is three. So y is equal to three x plus c. And since this passes one comma one, that means one comma one satisfies this equation. One is equal to three plus c. Plus c is equal to one. Right. <clears throat> so, what is the shorter method? Find dy by dx. So dy is equal to three dx. Work done is equal to so this one. <coughs> <clears throat> this will be equal to this will be equal to two 
एक्स वाई डी एक्स अब अगर मैं यहाँ पे डी एक्स की जगह डी वाई भी रख दू तभी प्रॉब्लम तो सॉल्व ही नहीं हो हियर आई हैव नो चॉइस आई हैव टू राइट टू एक्स इंटू वाई की वैल्यू कितनी है थ्री एक्स माइनस टू प्लस एक्स स्क्वायर डी वाई आई कैन राइट दिस एज एक्स स्क्वायर डी एक्स थ्री डी एक्स थ्री डी एक्स बट नाउ द लिमिट्स दे विल चेंज फ्रॉम वन टू Let me write that. Since dy is changed, dx limits will also change. To that. so we are integrating this thing 1 to 2 that is 6x square minus 4x plus 3x square dx right sum of integrals is equal to integral of sum so this is integral of 9x square minus 4x dx 1 to 2. What will be the answer to this? I am changing the slide now. Okay. Please take a screenshot. Changing the slide. I will go to the next slide. Finish this, then I will show you the other slides as well. So you can take a screenshot. Ah. So integral nine x square minus minus four x dx is equal to nine into x cube by three minus four into x square by two. हो गया टू हो गया थ्री इंटू टू क्यूब माइनस वन क्यूब माइनस टू इंटू टू स्क्वायर माइनस वन स्क्वायर थ्री इंटू एट माइनस वन माइनस टू इंटू फोर माइनस वन थ्री इंटू सेवन माइनस टू इंटू थ्री Twenty one minus six. Okay, I'll take you each. To each of the slides, please take a screenshot. The first thing that you must understand is that the force given to you, the variable force given to you, will have something attached to I cap and something attached to J cap, or whatever it may be. Work done. Will be equal to whatever is attached to I cap into d x plus whatever is attached to J cap into d y. Never get confused. कि यहाँ पे x है यहाँ y है तो क्या करना? जो भी यहाँ पे लिखा है I cap के साथ वो इधर आ जाएगा. जो भी यहाँ J cap के साथ लिखा है वो इधर आ जाएगा. So I write the expression. Now if the paths are straight lines, right? Then you get The value of horizontal vertical straight lines, then you get the value of one coordinate either x or y, and you get if we horizontally travel, then dy zero will be vertically 
ट्रेवल करेंगे तो डी एक्स जीरो वाई अगर कॉन्स्टेंट है तो चेंज इन वाई जीरो होना चाहिए ये मतलब चेंज इन वाई जीरो होना चाहिए सो so, ये वाई इक्वल टू वन और डी वाई इक्वल टू जीरो मैंने इस एक्सप्रेशन में सब्सिट्यूट किया एंड आई गेट आई गेट अल सिंपल इंटीग्रल which i solve when i get one answer then i go for the second straight line of the path repeat and i get another answer for the work done total work done must be the sum of these two things then for the second uh, horizontal vertical uh, paths i repeat Please take a screenshot. Please take a screenshot. Now, if there is a relationship between x and y given, then what I can do is that I can either replace that relationship into the integration expression as it is. Or I can find dy by dx and replace either dx or dy. Or as you can see here, it will be a combination of both. So, पहले integral में मैंने देखा कि 2xy dx है. यहाँ पे अगर मैं dx को dy से replace भी कर दूँगा तब भी वही problem रहेगी मेरे पास. तो मैंने y को ही x के terms में लिख दिया. दूसरे वाले integral में x square dy है. तो यहाँ पे dy को dx के टर्म्स में मैंने रिप्लेस कर दिया विच इज विच विल नॉट हैव एनी प्रॉब्लम बिकॉज आई विल एंड अप विद एन इंटीग्रल ओनली एक्सक्लूसिवली हैविंग ओनली वन वेरिएबल एक्स हाउएवर व्हेन वी चेंज dx टू dy और dy टू dx वी मस्ट बी केयरफुल दैट वी मस्ट चेंज द इंटीग्रेशन लिमिट्स एज वेल अगर इंटीग्रेशन में dx है आते हुए तो एक्स की लिमिट्स होंगी अगर इंटीग्रेशन में डी वाई है आखिरी में तो वाई की ही लिमिट्स होंगी सो इफ आई चेंज डी वाई टू डी एक्स आई हैव टू चेंज द लिमिट्स ऑफ दैट इंटीग्रेशन फ्रॉम दैट ऑफ द लिमिट्स ऑफ वाई टू द लिमिट्स ऑफ एक्स दैट इज व्हाट आई हैव डन ब्लू में मैंने लिखा हुआ है एंड उसके बाद से पूरा एक्सप्रेशन है कोऑर्डिनेट्स सब सेम है भाई बिल्कुल सेम है क्वेश्चन ठीक है ना चलिए अब फोर्थ पार्ट आप खुद से करिए सो वंस आई हैव डन दिस ऑल आई हैव टू डू नाउ इज कैरी आउट द वैल्यू ऑफ दी फाइंड द वैल्यू ऑफ दी सो व्हाट आर यू डूइंग नाउ डब्ल्यू Is equal to integral 2x by dx, 1 to 2, plus integral x square dy, 1 to 4. Path y is equal to x square. We solve this. Don't worry if you are unable to solve. I will solve it. But you must give it a try. No, no, no. Differentiate. गलत किया ना फिर आपने? देखो. Y is equal to x square का differentiation क्या होता है? हाँ. अब सही दिख रहा है. देख लो डिफ्रेंसिएशन करने की जरूरत है या नहीं है ऐसा नहीं है हार्ड एंड फास्ट कि आपको करना ही करना है हो सकता है कि आपको डिफ्रेंसिएशन करना ही ना पड़े सीधा सब्सटीट्यूशन ही कर दो वो आसान कर दे आपकी जिंदगी
हाँ बिल्कुल बिल्कुल हाँ हाँ बिल्कुल बिल्कुल कुछ भी कर सकते हैं कोई प्रॉब्लम नहीं solve it here i will put y is equal to x square so therefore i end up with something only that of x here i have x square but x square is equal to y so i can simply put y and i end up with something having only y ha ah, sahi hai I could differentiate and uh, change the variables, but I decide not. This will be integral of two x cube dx. This will be integral of y dx. So this will be two. Oops, sorry. Two x power four upon four, one to two, plus y square upon two, one to four. So y two is here. So it will be one by two into two to the power four. Two to the power four. What is it? Sixteen minus one. Plus one by two, sixteen minus one. That is equal to sixteen minus one. Okay, please take a screenshot. I will be changing the slide now. Very dear. All the four parts, they are giving us the same answer. All the four parts, they are giving us the same answer. Does this guarantee that uh, every part, every other part that I give, uh, will give you fifteen joules? No, it does not. But later on we'll see a rule which will tell us force. अगर ये है तो हमें मालूम है कि हर पार्ट के लिए सेम आंसर आएगा और अगर फोर्स उस टेस्ट को क्वालिफाई नहीं कर पा रही है तो सेम आंसर नहीं आएगा। चलो नाउ प्लीज रिपीट दिस क्वेश्चन फॉर दिस सेम पार्ट सेम सेम एवरीथिंग पहले पार्ट वन करेंगे सब लोग उसके आंसर पे अग्री करेंगे फिर पार्ट टू करेंगे उसके आंसर पे अग्री करेंगे एंड सो ऑन सो व्हेन यू हैव डन प्लीज टाइप इन द वर्क डन बाय दिस फोर्स ऑन पार्ट वन एक आंसर माइनस सिक्स एक आंसर माइनस सेवन ऑब्वियसली 
किसी ने कोई गड़बड़ की है तीसरा आंसर माइनस फोर पॉइंट फाइव किसी ने कोई गड़बड़ की है प्लीज री डू सिक्स आ रहा So I am going to do the first part. Work done will be equal to integral x y dx minus y dy. Okay. So the second part, no problems. I can solve. It. First part, big problem. One comma one, one. comma 1 y equal to 1 dy equal to 0 work done will be integral of uh, x into 1 into dx 1 to 2 x square by 2 1 to 2 and that will be equal to uh, 4 minus 1 by 2 1.5 okay w is equal to integral x y dx minus integral y dy now we are going from 2 comma 1 to 2 comma 4 x equal to 2 dx equal to 0 minus ye zero term ho jayega minus 1 to 4 y divided that is equal to y square by 2 1 to 4 and uh, that is equal to 16 minus 1 by 2 minus minus 7.5 okay if can i Total work done is equal to 1.5 minus 7.5 minus. Okay.
अच्छा सेकेंड पार्ट कर लिया do the second part do it carefully you need to see this is new so you need practice and do it slowly we we'll have we have all the time koi jaldi nahi hai एक आंसर मिला मेरे को और कोई आंसर Hmm. I will change the slide. If you have not taken, please take a screenshot. Work done. Integral. x y dx minus integral y dy now the path is 1 comma 1 Minus sixteen minus one by two is minus seven point five. So work done is x y dx minus y divided one comma four two comma four. y equal to four, dy equal to two. Work done. Is equal to one to two. One to two. एक्स वाई है यहाँ पे ना तो ये हो जाएगा एक्स इंटू फोर इंटू डी एक्स माइनस जीरो फोर इंटू एक्स स्क्वल टू टू इंटू फोर माइनस वन Minus seven point five six. 
minus one point five. Then I'll please do it quickly for the third and the fourth parts. हुआ थर्ड पार्ट क्या हो गया भाई नाउ एवरीबॉडी इज गेटिंग द सेम आंसर सो आई एम सो डब्ल्यू इज इक्वल टू एक्स वाई आई डी एक्स माइनस वाई डी वाई वी आर गोइंग रॉन्ग वाई इज इक्वल टू थ्री एक्स माइनस टू so x into 3x minus 2dx minus even y dy 1/4 this is integration of 3x square minus 2x dx minus y dy This will be x cube by three into three minus x square by two into two one to two minus y square by two one to two. 
is equal to x cube minus x square one to two. One to two minus x square one to two minus y square by two one to four is equal to eight minus one minus four minus one minus sixteen minus one upon two seven. Minus two minus seven point five minus three point five. Yep. And similarly, let's take a screenshot. Please take a screenshot. Please take a screenshot. So similarly, x y dx minus integral y dy along y is equal to x square. X into x square into dx minus integral y dy from one to two. This is equal to integral x cube dx minus y dy. One to four, one to two. This is x power four upon four minus y square upon two. Uh, so this will be two power four divided by sixteen. Sixteen by four minus one upon four. Minus sixteen minus one upon two. Basically, this is sixteen by four. So fifteen by four minus fifteen by two, which is equal to minus fifteen by four minus three point seven. So now, please note the pattern. Please note the result. I am going to change the slide. Let's take a screenshot. I am going to change the slide. Please take a screenshot. Okay. So let's see. Let's let's accumulate the results. So f is equal to y i cap plus x j cap work done part one part two part three. Part four was equal to seven. F is equal to two x y i cap plus x square j cap. Work done. Part one, part two, part three, part four is equal to fifteen. F is equal to x y i cap minus y j cap. Work done along part one. Work done along part two. Work done along part three. Work done along part four. Minus three point seven five joules, Skaya. Minus three point five. Minus three point five is the sky. Uh, 
फिर माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव जूल इसका आया माइनस सिक्स जूल इसका आया माइनस वन पॉइंट फाइव जूल माइनस सो वी हैव वी डिस्कस्ड थ्री फोर्सेस थ्री वेरिएबल फोर्सेस and for each force i give you four parts right please remember i told you that we are taking uh, we are taking a particle from from i i i made some coordinate axis like this and i said that i am taking a particle from this point this point right and we have done it through various uh, paths we have taken it like this and then like this taken it like this and then like this taken it along the straight line we have taken it along the curve right how many more paths are possible infinitely more paths are possible will i get the same value of work for these infinitely many paths but at this stage i don't know at this stage we don't know we will know by next class we will know but at this stage we don't know however i will assume okay, or we will assume that we will indeed get Equal values, the same values for work done, irrespective of the path that we follow for the first two variable forces. But for the third variable force, as you yourself have worked out, the different paths they result in different answers. Please notice that the value of f is same. Please also notice. that the limits were same you are getting different answers simply because paths were different okay so now it should not be a mystery it should not be that kind of a you know weird this thing anymore same function ka integration aapne kiya abhi kiya same limits pe kiya lekin alag alag path pe different values are ahi hain so now i am going to ask a very tough question i know this is i it's a, it's a tough question and in all probability you won't be able to answer still i want to ask look at the three expressions there is a definite pattern there if that pattern is followed which it is in the first two courses then work done comes out to be independent of path but if that pattern is not followed which is not being followed in the third one expression the work done for different paths becomes different and look carefully at the three expressions and can you work out that pattern it's, it's the i i will tell you i will tell you a couple of more courses can okay? i can tell you a couple of more courses let me write this in blue so f is equal to pura likh le pura likh le is equal to sin y i cap minus x cosine y j cap 
f is equal to tan y i cap plus 6 square x j cap. f is equal to Y square I cap plus two X Y J. So it turns out that here the force is independent, dependent, independent. Right. In the blue expression, mein, if you carry out for different parts, you'll get the same answer. Second wale expression, mein, you'll get different answers. Third wale expression, mein, you'll again get the same answer. Now, since you have six expressions for you to compare, now look at the expressions and tell me a fact. Somebody was absolutely correct. I think it was on Bolata. Zoheb Nebola, I will say. There is something happening here which is related to differentiation. There is something happening here which is related to differentiation. What? No. Okay, I'll show you. Ball body answer. Yes. 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 Very good. Yeah, I'll change the. Yeah, for any any people to do. See, if you differentiate this with respect to x, and if you differentiate this with respect to y. X ka differentiation with respect to x is 1. Yeah, be 1 R -R -R. Y ka differentiation with respect to y is 1. So yeah, be 1 R -R -R. X square ka differentiation with respect to x is 2x. Y ka differentiation with respect to 1 uh, with y respect to y is 1. Sin y ka differentiation. Sorry. Minus cos y ka differentiation. Sin y. Ah. Plus sin so sin y ka differentiation sin y or x ka differentiation 1 y square ka differentiation 2y x ka differentiation 1 
don't have to remember this. I'll tell you an easier rule. But for the moment, this is the pattern. यहाँ पे जो भी वाई का एक्सप्रेशन है यहाँ पे जो भी वाई का एक्सप्रेशन है उसका डिफरेंशिएशन विद रिस्पेक्ट टू वाई यहाँ एग्जिस्ट करता है लेकिन यहाँ तो गड़बड़ है वाई का डिफरेंशिएशन तो वन होता है यहाँ पे वाई एग्जिस्ट कर रहा है देर वर्क इज इंडिपेंडेंट वर्क इज डिपेंडेंट ऑन यहाँ पे tan y का डिफरेंशिएशन तो वाई होता है यहाँ पे सिक्स स्क्वायर एक्स लिखा है सिक्स स्क्वायर वाई वाई नहीं तो इसका मतलब कि यहाँ पे डिपेंडेंस ऑन पार्ट आ गया है दिस इज़ द पैटर्न दैट दैट हेल्प्स अस टू फाइंड वेदर द वर्क डन विल बी इंडिपेंडेंट और डिपेंडेंट Don't worry. I'll tell you an easier rule, much much easier rule. And once you have learned that rule, you can simply look and tell me क्या चाहा इससे तो dependent work आएगा या independent work आएगा. So that we'll learn in the next class. Uh, that is multi variable calculus. So before I Before I introduce that part, I'll have to teach you something very, very new: multi-variable calculus. Yeah, so, multi-variable calculus is very interesting. Uh, it is the two-dimensional or three-dimensional counterpart of the calculus that you have already seen uh, in, uh, in, uh, in the beginning. Uh, so, I will teach you some multi-variable calculus, and then I will tell you what are the rules. and it will also in the next class become obvious that using the rules of this new maths that i'll teach you there is some quantity which is going out to you know there is there, there will be an emergent quantity so when we do that maths we will learn that always a quantity emerges naturally and it will turn out that this quantity is called potential energy right and that is how i will explain what is potential energy okay so in the next class we'll do multivariable calculus and uh, potential energy right and that should be the last part of this chapter हाँ चेन वाला नेक्स्ट क्लास में सुनो नेक्स्ट क्लास नहीं 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 ये 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 ऐसे नहीं तो मल्टीवर्बल से पहले सुनल मेरे को याद दिला देना पहले चेन वाला हम करेंगे फिर उसके बाद सुनो ठीक है प्लीज टेक अ स्क्रीनशॉट दिस इज़ द लास्ट स्क्रीन and i will see you guys in the next class sorry about the day neem nahi khuli meri okay chal i see you guys in the next class Bye bye